day in the life type of video because these are like my favorite videos to film i love filming these so if you guys like these videos please make sure to give a thumbs up you know i'll probably keep doing them either way but if you absolutely hate them you can give this video a thumbs down but that's okay too if you guys have watched any of my other day in the life videos then you would know my morning routine i'm gonna go to the gym so my apartment gym these old joints oh Off I go. Okay, so I've done my makeup, I got myself put together, and I'm wearing, this outfit's a little out of my comfort zone, this is just something I would usually wear just to take pictures on Instagram, but I'm gonna go to Target today. I, I don't know why I'm saying it, like this is such an adventure, I'm gonna go to Target, because I kinda wanna try baking again today. If you guys watched my last video, my friend and I attempted to bake a vegan strawberry shortcake, and I kinda messed up the frosting. I also messed up just like, the cake layering and everything. So I want to try again today. I want to make another strawberry shortcake because it tasted so good. The presentation wasn't its best, but I think I can do better. So I'm going to try again today. That's the game plan for today. Also, this is very random, but can you guys let me know something? I saw this thing on TikTok and it was like, everyone looks better with a middle part. Show me someone that looks better with a side part, I dare you, like one of those things. I feel like I look better with a side part. I can't tell, so I need your guys' opinion. So here's like a, here's a middle part and then here it is to the side. I feel like I look better with a side part. I don't know, help me out. Help me out here. I need other people's opinion because I can't decide anything for myself. I'm back and I've already changed. Although the outfit is cute, it's not the most comfortable. But I got quite, I definitely got more than I really needed. So I got one of these um, because why not? I got an electric mixer because I think this would have really come in handy the last time I tried to bake a cake. I got a new scale. Some of the recipes I was looking up is just by grams, and I could convert it to cups and everything like that, but I feel like baking is very precise. It's just me. Am I wrong? I feel like with cooking, you can kind of just do a dash of this, a sprinkle of that, but I feel like with baking, it's like exactly a teaspoon. Not a pinch over or everything will be ruined. So I got a scale. I got three cake pans. Did I need three cake pans? No, I'm not even planning to make a three-tier cake or anything, but maybe Maybe I will in the future. Three of these, as well as some powdered sugar. I think I'm gonna try to make my own icing. I wanna try to make buttercream to see if I can do it to redeem myself from last time. Icing knife sets, cupcake decorating set. I'm not gonna make cupcakes, but maybe I will someday. Some organic strawberries, two sticks of vegan butter to make the buttercream. I should've got mixing bowls. <laughs> I also got frosting mix, just in case. My shoes on, I get up in the morning, cup of milk, let's rock and roll.
I should do a three tier. Do you think I can do it? I think I could do it. I could do it. I could totally, totally do it. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough to like put it in three. I think I got cake batter in my hair. Mm. I'm using this guy's recipe on TikTok. Jeremy, I don't wanna say his name wrong, so I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Two sticks of butter and powdered sugar. We're good. Whew. Oh my gosh. It's a workout. It's, oh my God, there's butter everywhere. I need to add the cream, uh, for, I have to add all of this. That's gonna go flying everywhere. Oh boy. Oh, oh, this is gonna go flying everywhere. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Oh boy. Should I do this over the sink? Probably. Where did I put my jam? I'm gonna add, how about you guys think? Like a tablespoon to, let's start off with that much. Ooh, I think that looks really good. Hell yeah, look at me go. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna try this. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Just excuse the large hole in them. I don't have toothpicks. So I was using a chopstick. Let these cool, figure out the rest from there. I started decorating and I think it looks pretty good. It doesn't look that bad. It's coming along. It's definitely better than the other one I made. I should probably wait a little bit longer because it's still warm. Oh well. This icing is like one of the greatest things I've ever done. I'm so proud of myself. She's a little deformed. If I just cover it with like a bunch of frosting, turn her this way, there we go. Again, I probably should have waited. Like I was able to tell it's melting. <laughs> the frosting is kind of melting and it would have been easier if I just was patient and waited for the cake to cool down and then added the frosting, but alas, it's me. So I did cut around the edges. As you can see, I have all the crumbs over here and I've been eating them. Now I think it's time to try a proper slice. I'm really nervous to cut into it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> No, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. You're doing so well, just stay there. Ah, oh my God, look at that. I think that looks great. I think the top layer should have been the bottom. Look at the inside. I think the inside looks awesome. Oh my God, look at that. I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, I did that. I did that. The kitchen is a mess and that's okay. This is my first meal of the day. Cake for breakfast. Mmm, it's so good. Oh my God, are you kidding me? You know, I've got a ways to go as a baker, <laughs> but this is definitely an improvement from the other cake. Mm. Mm. Why are you revving your engine? Here we go again. Nine out of 10. Points docked for not being patient enough, but flavor, 10 out of 10. Mm. So I just wanted to have a little chat, have a little heart to heart with y'all. I feel like a lot of you guys have been noticing it lately and I didn't even notice about myself. I was actually watching some of my older videos and I was like, wow, I, I seem so much happier then and I hadn't even realized how down I sounded. The juxtaposition between the two videos was crazy, like my more recent ones compared to my older ones. And a lot of you guys have actually commented on it and saying, hey, are you doing okay? You just don't seem the same anymore. And it's because I'm not the same. A lot's happened. 2020 has been a rough year for everyone. I feel like sometimes when I post videos like this, like day in the life type of videos or my morning routine, someone had commented saying, oh, is this what like a mentally stable person's day looks like? I guess uh, I do want to portray this sort of happy life. I want to seem happy because I think it's more fun to watch people when they're happy. When I'm in a bad mood, I don't want to see someone else. You know, I already feel so poorly about myself. It, I don't think I can afford <laughs> any more negativity like in that specific moment. So that's why I want you guys to come to my videos. Like if you're not in the best mood, like I want you to come here and hopefully I put you in a somewhat better mood. But I just wanna let you guys know that 2020 has been rough. I lost my best friend this year, who is my dad. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna do that, I'm sorry. I, I lost my best friend this year. I have been in quarantine since March, which sounds insane. I graduated college this year and you might have heard about that whole like postgraduate depression and I'm definitely feeling that. I did everything. Like my whole life was dedicated to making my parents proud and now neither of them are here. So it just feels like, what's the point of me 
doing anything. I've been struggling, <laughs> as you guys have apparently noticed, but um, I'm trying. I want to be happy. I've really been trying to portray that I'm like a happy person. I'm clearly not portraying that well. So I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you guys know that I'm not okay. I'm really not. <laughs> But I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be, and I just want to let you guys know like how much you actually mean to me. I don't want to cry, oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like this is such a switch from the beginning of the video. I was baking a cake, all was well. But that's what life is, that's what happens. Like one minute I, I think I'm doing okay, and then the next I just want to cry. I just want to lay in bed and I want to cry about it. And usually when I would feel this way, I would just like end the video here and I would just try to refilm one tomorrow, but I decided to just film this, I guess. When I say you guys are my friends, like I really, really mean that. I really appreciate every single one of you. I always had my dad and my dad was the equivalent of having like 10 friends, which is why I kind of distanced myself a lot like, towards the end of high school. And even like all throughout college, I really didn't have a lot of friends in college because I felt like I didn't need any. I relied on my dad a lot to get the friendship and love that I needed because my dad was able to give that all to me. But now that he's gone, there's this like really big, empty, hollow hole in my chest. But whenever I like talk to you guys, whenever you comment, especially when you point something out that like I have said and you're like, oh, I like that too. <laughs> it makes me so happy. So thank you guys for being my friend. And really, like when I say that at the end of the video, thank you so much for being alive. I mean it because like I really need you here. I'm really happy that you're all alive and that you give me a reason to not give up. Ah, <sighs> This is like a more realistic day in my life because I swear guys, I cry every day. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to get all choked up like that. I'm gonna try to write today. I've talked about it before, but I really like writing. It's like a huge outlet for me, and I've had writer's block for months. I'm gonna listen to some Harry Styles, and I'm gonna try to write. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that. No more tears. No more tears. Just happy things. I'm gonna write something happy. I like use my iPad sometimes because then I can use this keyboard. I have this wireless keyboard. And it's pink and I really like the buttons. Pink is my favorite color. I don't know if you guys <laughs> have been able to tell. Oh, I also want to show you guys this. I put it on my Instagram story, but I made this recently with my best friend Mary, who was in my last video where we baked a cake together. It's just happiness. This is my my serotonin, my dopamine. It's got it all. You know, when I'm feeling down, I could just look at this and it makes me feel a little bit better. Maybe I'll make one on a video someday. I have a playlist called Songs to Write To. So I'm making dinner now. I've been snacking on these chips. I had a bit more of my cake. And now I'm making some dinner. I have some broccoli in my lovely air fryer. And then I'm going to make myself like a Beyond Meat vegan sausage, the hot Italian sausage. And then I have this leftover big ziti. I made this like two nights ago and it's really, really good. Mm. Today was not exactly my usual day of eating, but baking takes so much out of me. I was like, I don't want to cook anything. I was like, I'm just going to eat this cake <laughs> and that's going to be two out of three meals for today. Ta-da! Actual food. Go me. <laughs> We have reached my favorite part of the night. Doing my skincare routine literally keeps me sane. <laughs> I don't know what it is about having a skincare routine. It just makes me feel like I have everything together. Like I have my life put together. I find baking so much fun. I think I didn't bake for the longest time because I had an eating disorder. 
but now I don't have one so I can live my life like I should. What else do you guys think I should bake? Should I bake banana bread? Should I bake chocolate cake? Ooh, I can bake cookies. I should bake cookies. I have to start going outside more. When my friend Mary was here, we went on like two of these super long walks. The first one was like 16 miles. Ugh, I'm such a paranoid person. I don't know if I'll be able to do it alone. I watch too much Stephanie Sawyer, listen to too many of her podcasts, watch too much Criminal Minds. I'm like such a homebody now because I live in fear. All clean. I'm gonna conclude the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give a thumbs up to let me know that you did. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!